Today we're making caramelized onions. For a 10 inch skillet, we'll start with a pound and a half of yellow onions. Let's cut the top of the onion off, then its root, and cut it in half, pole to pole. Peel all the halves, and then slice them pole to pole. This will yield nice, even strips that will cook evenly, instead of semicircles of variable size. As the onion gets unstable, tilt it forward to finish slicing. To make this process as safe and painless as possible, you should use a pinch grip on your knife and a claw grip on the onion. If you are not yet comfortable with these techniques, here is a video that demonstrates them. If you want caramelized rather than wilted onions, you need a stainless steel skillet. This will give you plenty of sticky brown bits, resulting in deliciously jammy consistency. Set it over high heat and add a quarter cup of olive oil. It will seem like a lot, but the oil is crucial to proper flavor and texture. The excess oil can easily be removed after cooking, so there is no worry about greasy onions. When the oil starts to shimmer, add the onions and one teaspoon of diamond crystal kosher salt. If using table or some fine grain salt, reduce that to a half teaspoon. Mix to integrate the salt and then leave your onions alone until they brown on the bottom. If you keep stirring, they won't brown. Periodically check on the side to see if you got color. Nope, not yet. Here we go. We've been cooking them for about three minutes and they are finally ready to stir. We'll continue cooking over moderately high heat without disturbing them until the bottom browns again. As they continue to cook, browning will happen faster and faster, so you need to watch them closely. Here we go. At about five minutes, we've got color again. Always tuck your onions back inside the pan after stirring to prevent the onions from drying up on the sides of the pan. Let's check if the bottom of the pan has sufficient lubrication. This looks a tad dry to me, so I'll add another tablespoon of oil and stir it in. I think we have plenty of color now, and it's time to turn our heat down to very low. On an electric stove, you might want to move to another burner. It takes the skillet a couple of minutes to drop in temperature, so at first, you might want to stir the onions a good bit, but once the skillet cools off, they'll be fine for 5-8 to eight minute periods without any attention. Once we are on low heat, the onion juices won't be evaporating that fast, and they'll start to pick up the brown bits from the bottom of the pan. At this point, I'll switch to stirring with a flat wooden spoon. Our onions are deeply brown and very tender at this point, so we are ready to finish them off with a bit of balsamic vinegar. The acidity will balance the sugar in the onions and will help pick up the remaining brown bits from the bottom of the pan. Cook them for a few minutes and then taste for salt. I think it needs another pinch. Mm, good. Done! Now let's tilt our pan and scoop all the onions to one side so that the excess oil can leak out. This will only take a couple of minutes. Let's scoop the onions out and they're ready to use on anything your heart desires. To make cleaning easy, pour out the oil, wipe the lip of the pan and boil some water in it for a few minutes before washing. For more onion techniques, don't forget to subscribe to Helen's Kitchen channel. And if you're ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.